Welcome guys. This is Technology Made Basic. I want to make a video today on browser hijacking. Uh, what browser hijacking is, it's a type of fraud where scammers uh, use a malicious software to take control of your web browser. And what it does, it if you're trying to type in a certain web address, oftentimes it will redirect you to somewhere else. Um, usually sites that you don't want to go to. Also, it'll change your home page, give you a different search engine, and uh, you know, wreak all kinds of havoc on your web browser. Oftentimes, it'll have cascading Internet Explorers open where you have multiple instances of that web browser open. The easiest way to go ahead and get rid of that is do a Control Alt Delete on the keyboard and start your task manager and go to the Processes tab where it says iExplore.exe. You can go ahead and end that process and get rid of all those uh, cascading windows and close everything out. Another thing you can try very quickly is going into your internet options under your browser. You can also get through this through control panel and uh, going to the privacy tab and where it says uh, pop-up blocker make sure it's turned on. Uh, what I would suggest is if you're getting all kinds of you know cascading windows popping up like that go to settings and instead of the medium do a high block uh, where it blocks uh, most almost every pop-up window uh, so go ahead and close that cancel that and like I said you can get through the internet options also under the uh, network options through control panel uh, but some of the tools we want to go ahead and download to get rid of that malicious software that's on your web browser uh, are great tools uh, through the Microsoft website so just navigate to microsoft.com just www.microsoft.com and in the top search the first one that we want to download and it's going to be one that's probably already installed on your computer but you don't even realize it uh, it's something that installs and updates through Windows updates so as long as you're constantly in updating your computer and keeping it uh, up to date with the Microsoft uh, updates this is actually probably already running in the background without you even realizing it and doing scans because uh, that's what it's meant to do uh, it's called the Microsoft malicious removal tool so let's type that in uh, just in case you want to go ahead and do a, a manual run or you're not sure that it's in, under your uh, or you haven't been doing your updates and you don't think it's on your computer you can go ahead and do a search for it under the Microsoft site here it is download Windows malicious software removal tool click on the link it's going to redirect this to the 32-bit uh, version of that software in this case I'm running a 64-bit operating system so I don't want to download this or it's going to give me an error uh, one way that I know I'm running a 64-bit operating system is by going to the uh, system properties by just clicking on start button going to computer and then right clicking and going to properties it's going to tell me here I'm running a 64-bit operating system so instead of downloading the 32-bit we go right here where it says uh, to download the 64-bit version of malicious software tool click here uh, so we'll go ahead and click there there it is, the 64-bit version. We ju we can just download it. But like I said, as long as you're running Windows updates, it's pretty much already installed on the computer. So what we can do is go to the search if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7. Uh, also, if you're running Windows XP, you can just click on the Run and then just type in MRT. Hit Enter. There it is on the top there, MRT, the tool. What it's going to do, it's going to open up it's actually already installed on my computer and all we have to do is click the next to give us the options for scanning uh, we can do a customized scan uh, we can do a quick scan or full scan what I recommend is doing a full scan if your browser is hijacked In this case we're going to do a quick scan and it's going to scan you know several thousand files on your computer depending on the hardware on your computer uh, could take longer could take uh, less time uh, but it's going to scan in this case it's quick scan and whatever it finds it's going to it's going to give you the option to remove. Uh, the second tool that we want to download that's not going to be on your computer, if we go back to uh, www.microsoft.com in the search this time, instead of typing in Microsoft Safety Scanner or Microsoft uh, Malicious Software Removal Tool, we type in Microsoft Safety Scanner because that's actually the uh, second tool that we're going to want to download. So, Microsoft Safety Scanner, there it is, the first link, click on it and this uh, software what it is is actually does it expires every 10 days so you can only keep it on your computer for 10 days and then you have to re-download it if you want to use it again if you run into troubles again uh, but this is actually the gonna run a full system scan for all viruses and malware that Microsoft's aware of 
What the Microsoft Malicious Removal Tool does, it just scans for a small bit of malware out there, specifically the uh, the Blaster Worm, the Sasser Worm, the MyDoom Virus. Uh, it basically searches those out and gets rid of those. So that's that's why it's important to run these two tools because one is a like a small centralized scan, the other one is a big thorough scan that does everything. And this software here, the Microsoft Safety Scanner, is a big thorough scan that scans uh, for you know all kinds of stuff. And here's some of the top desktop threats that it that it shows here: some of the trojans, worms, viruses, things that uh, could be on your system. So once you download it, I went ahead and already downloaded it and put it under my uh, downloads folder. Now, can you, as you can see here, the scan results it didn't find anything, but if it did si find something, just go ahead and remove it with the tool. Um, and that's the Microsoft Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click finish. Like I said, all you have to do is type in MRT down here, and it's going to open it up. Uh, but if I go under my downloads to go ahead and open up the Microsoft Safety Scanner. Uh, I got it here. What I'm going to do is double click on it to open it. And it's going to look very, very similar to the uh, tool that we just used. Go ahead and click Run and say Yes. Accept. Next. And as you can see here, it looks very similar to the uh, Microsoft Malicious Removal Tool, where I click Next again. I suggest doing a full scan instead of a quick one, but we'll do a quick one here. And like I said, this one searches for viruses, spyware, um, all kinds of uh, potentially harmful software on the computer. So once you've run the Microsoft Malicious Software Removal Tool, go ahead and run the uh, Microsoft Safety Scanner. Once this is done and finds whatever it finds, um, it's going to clean out the entire system. The last tool that we want to download it's going to be an actual antivirus, uh, anti-spyware program that you're going to have and run on your computer on a weekly or monthly basis. Um, it's going to be a program similar to like a Norton or McAfee. And the name of the program is uh, Windows Security Essentials. So we're going to go to uh, back to Microsoft site. It's actually Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, there it is, the first link. Microsoft Security Essentials. And we'll go ahead and click on the free download. Go ahead and run it. It's a small file, so it should download very quickly. I'll go ahead and uh, navigate you guys through the installation. These are great tools. They're free through the Microsoft site as long as you're running a joint, genuine version of uh, either XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Go ahead and close this out. Click on next. I accept. And no, I don't want to join. Next. If no fire, make sure to ch uh, that this is checked. If no firewall is turned on, turn on the Windows firewall. Click next. And that's going to go ahead and process the installation. And I'll go ahead and check on the Microsoft Safety Scanner. It's almost done. And so far, it's found nothing because uh, my browser is not hijacked. But in your case, where it is. I uh, should be finding all this malicious stuff where it's going to get rid of it. And uh, now it's ready to install, which is Microsoft Security Essentials. Go ahead and click install. So basically what we've done is right now just downloaded some tools. And you may not be able to download them on your actual web browser because it, it may be redirecting you. Uh, so what I suggest is to probably go ahead and download an alternate web browser onto your computer um, you can do that by you're probably gonna have to use somebody else's computer a friend or family members take a flash drive uh, in this case there's other alternate web browsers like Mozilla Firefox Google Chrome Opera um, you can just do a Google search for Mozilla Firefox it's a very popular web browser it's the first uh, link there on Google's website and there it is, uh, Firefox free download. And go ahead and download that to a flash drive, install it on your computer. And it's going to be an alternate web browser that's going to be clean and free of any infections. So with that, you'll be able to navigate uh, and get to all these downloads that we've been doing. Uh, so make sure that you know if your browser is so hijacked to where you can't go anywhere, you can't download any, any of the stuff that we've been doing, just install an alternate web browser uh, like a Mozilla Firefox, a Google Chrome, and use those on your computer or maybe just download all the tools that we just mentioned onto a flash drive and and onto your computer that way 
but right now I don't want to do a scan but it's auto when I click finish it's going to automatically start updating you want to make sure your antivirus program is always up to date and this is a program that we're going to use on a weekly and monthly basis it's our it's our actual antivirus anti spyware program that's going to keep us clean and free of any infections so we don't have to use the Microsoft safety scanner or the uh, malicious removal tool uh, now once it's up to date I'm gonna go through some of the settings it's got a quick and full and custom scan where we can scan our computer and I suggest once the safety scanner is done and the malicious software removal tool is done go ahead and also run a full system scan with this so it's gonna take you some time to get all this cleaned up you wanna make sure it is up to date so where it says PC status is protected the history is just gonna be anything that's found in quarantine and put in your history here the settings uh, this is some of the stuff where you can uh, set the scan type uh, when to scan what time to scan, uh, some of the CPU usage, um, let's see, real-time protection is something you definitely do want to have checked, that way it's always protecting your computer. If you go under the advanced, this is also a very important section because you can scan removable drives like flash drives or other media, external hard drives through this, so if you check that, it'll clear that and clean that out. Uh, another thing is the restore point. You want to make sure that you do probably create a restore point before you do any of the stuff or remove any of the stuff because your system could be so infected that it removes something and, and it makes it crash. But if you created a restore point, you can always uh, log into the repair section on your OS and just go back to the point before you started doing everything. So creating a restore point is something definitely important and recommended to do. And the map section here is just something that it sends information to Microsoft letting it know what it found on your computer, what kind of infections are out there, what new virus definitions you have to create. So those are just some of the settings. Uh, just make sure it's up to date. The home, just a very basic setting. Uh, make sure to do a full system scan. See in this case it didn't find anything with the Microsoft safety scanner which is good. And uh, we do a full system scan with that. So once you've uh, tried all those and you, you stop the cascading windows, you've installed maybe an alternate web browser to download those tools. They're very, very good tools to run. Um, the other things that you can try when you go into the uh, web browser, if you go into the tools and go to the internet options, you can also try resetting the uh, settings by just going to the advanced tab under internet options. You can also get this through control panel clicking the reset button and it's going to reset everything back to like a factory setting for Internet Explorer where it's going to re reset your home page, disable a lot of stuff and clean out a lot of things. So that's another thing that's very important to do to reset your uh, web browser. Also deleting your history by going under the general tab where it says browser history, click delete and just make sure to check whatever you want to check off where it deletes the cookies, downloaded history, you can hit the delete button and it's going to delete all that for you. And all the other times you may down, you may have downloaded some freeware or shareware and it came with a lot of toolbars which put a lot of uh, different add-ons. Uh, what add-ons are is just uh, it has features to your uh, web browser like toolbars, animated uh, mouse pointers, things like that. So what we can do is go to back to our tools and go to manage add-ons. And here where it says toolbars and extensions we can uh, say click on something like the Bing and we can enable or disable that. Um, and that's also going to speed up and slow down your web browser depending on what's enabled or disabled. So add-ons are another thing that you can do to uh, you know, prevent your browser from being hijacked. 